Dynamic. And what uh, what does that what does dynamic mean to you? And what about this season required you and the team to be dynamic? I guess. I think dynamic for me is like a host of things. I would say dynamic is like um, ever changing. We've had a lot of changes this year. Um, I think dynamic can be really flexible, and those are the things that I think that we've had to do to get through the season. But I also think dynamic is like powerful and like energetic and I think like that's kind of like the way that our team has like um been able to perform really well is like we like when we're able to make like an impact on the field like right away whether that's defensively or offensively it's been really like uh energetic and powerful and I think that's like some of the the best things that we've seen um right off the the get-go and so I think like no matter how the season was going like that's something that we always like brought or tried to play. Cool. And then it seems like um, you've obviously grown throughout this season with being, yeah. you know, first year, uh, and then with Jimmy as well, kind of finding a, a, a role within the team. Mm -hmm. He mentioned oh, at, at the last game to us that one of his priorities is making sure each player develops, you know, in in the way that they would like to, and potentially reaching, you know, like a national team mm -hmm. uh, opportunity, things like that. Is that something that you, in your future, obviously would would, would like to do? And how do you envision yourself getting there? Uh, over the next season or two, yeah. however long. Oh, that's absolutely, absolutely a goal. It's definitely one of my priorities. Um, obviously, that's not up to me. So you can only do um, get better every day and get better throughout you know the months and each season. So, but that's definitely a goal for me. Um, and the Canadian Federation is awesome, and they're very talented. So, you know, it, to be there would be incredible. Um, and you know, even just having Chloe here is, is pretty great um, and having conversations with her um, about that. And I think for me, the best thing this year has been honestly just like having really honest conversations. I think like some of the things that uh, is difficult to do is like try to identify like what is it that I need to be better and be the best version of myself because obviously like every player is different all the styles are different like even if you look at like the same position like me and Liv like we don't play the same way but we do we have like a similar role but we do it very differently do you know what I mean so um you can't really do it that way it's got to just be like um you improving yourself so I think like the best one of the best things I think with this staff is you know they'll tell you exactly what you need to do better. So I think like for me, it's been really helpful because I can just, they, it's very matter of fact. It's like, you can do this, you need to work on this. And for me, like in the last, even in the last like three months, I think I had a conversation with Jimmy, August maybe? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Everything's like the timelines are weird. But like even within that conversation, um, I've been able to do miles better because I was able to hone in on what, what he needed for me and uh, get better at it every game. And I think that that was really significant. Zoe, with two kind of solid months off, how many tracks do you think you can produce in oh. two months? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm hoping two. Two? Uh, yeah. I haven't written the second one, but I, I know what it's going to sound like. I kind of know the vibe that I'm going with. And the first one um, is, is almost done. So. Well, while we're on the subject of entertainment, yeah. we've asked a few of the players, have you received anything from the off-season FC production crew saying they want oh. it for season number two? <laughs> no. Because you're a budding superstar, so it That's makes sense. That's so funny. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't. Um, you know, my, my ringer's on, but um, <laughs> no, I haven't. On a serious question, you mentioned getting better, but what do you think went well this year? What do you hope is better next year, 2025? For me or the however you want it both let's say both in a nutshell I know that's to ask a lot but um well I would say I'd say this this one goes for me and the team I think one of the most difficult things um and and this also like so in college we had like a change of uh, for me we had a change in coaching staff like our whole coaching staff left we got a new one and so I've kind of like on a like a different level in a different environment have done this before where you have to rebuild and you kind of have to figure out okay what's this going to be and that's definitely like the hardest part so I think the good thing is that I mean we've done the hardest part we've done the work we figured out who we are what we want to do and how we want to do it 
and uh, so I think, and I think like it's become pretty clear to us and everyone else in the league where we're going. Um, and I think so. Like, I as difficult as that's been, we've done the hardest part. Do you know what I mean? So I think like being able to get the momentum and ride that wave into the next season and seeing kind of like what that's going to bring. Um, and I think for me, it's the same idea, you know, it was my first um, year in the league. So it's kind of like getting your footing, like how, how do I operate in this league? How do I operate in this team? How does this, how is this going to look? You know, we've already done that. So I kind of like, you have your foot kind of like on solid ground and that's the only way that you can start running. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Thank you. You played approximately, and I was never any good at math, but I think it was like 17 or 18 positions in the first half of the year. <laughs> it, it felt like every match you were lining up in a different spot. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you settled into outside back pretty well, especially during the, the back half of the season and everything? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I've always played a ton of positions. Um, it's kind of like, it's giving, I, I always think of like Janine Becky kind of vibe where she just, you know, you maybe just go there. Just, like, we need somebody there today. You just, you do it, you know? Um, she does that pretty well. And um, so I like to think that I, that that's something that I, I can do and I'm comfortable with. Like, I just think of it as, like, soccer. Soccer is soccer. Yeah. You play it. I'm going to be Zoe and outside back. I'm going to be Zoe at the 6. I'm going to be Zoe at the 10. You know, I played Banger for a second there. You know, it, like, it's just, it like, whatever, if you think that the way that I play will benefit in that position, put me there. That sounds great. Um, and, you know, if it doesn't work, you move me. It's totally yeah. fine. I think, like, I feel comfortable back there. I have a lot of fun. Um, I like both sides. So, like, honestly, it's wherever they feel that I'm going to perform my best. I just I, – I genuinely just want to be the best at wherever I am. Um, I do enjoy it a lot. Um, so – and I would love to play there again. Does playing a little bit more advanced in the midfield or even out on the wing like you did a little bit, does it make you, do you feel like it made you a better outside back? Yeah. I think I was a 10 for most of my life um, in club. I started defending in college, honestly. So, and like I was just, I just had a meeting earlier today and I was like, for me, when I play in the back, it's like when I'm defending, I'm like taking in the play of like if I was a 10, I, I, do this like kind of automatically like if I was like playing against me where would I be playing the ball now do you know what I mean so it's like as I'm like I'm like seeing the pockets and I'm seeing like what they're seeing and I'm like they're gonna play this because it's open do you know what I mean so it helps yeah. a little bit um and vice versa like if I'm coming up the field I'm like what would be the most annoying pass I could play right now <laughs> you know like further back especially when I'm playing like if we're you know rotated up and I'm playing on the right and I'm going at their back line and I it's me and my forward it's like I'm looking at their back line. And I'm like, what would annoy you the most right now? You know what I mean? And that's kind of how I yeah. like see it. And so I definitely think playing multiple positions gives you a fun little take on like how like you can make them uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I do need to ask you about the burgeoning music career because mostly because I have falling saved on both my Spotify and my Apple. <laughs> awesome, um, that's great. It's, it's yeah, I, I bump <laughs> to it probably at least three or four times a week. Sweet, um, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> But that idea to release a track in the middle of your rookie season, where did kind of that idea come from? Have you always been musical like that? Did you always think you wanted to sort of get into there? Yeah. Because, you know, your rookie year can be chaotic, I guess, I yeah. think is a way to describe sure. it. So, yeah. So releasing a, releasing a track in the middle of a rookie season feels like it could be problematic, but you handled it pretty well. So where did <laughs> kind of that whole idea come from? Um, I mean, I was writing for a few years now I guess um I think it I didn't even really plan it that way like I wasn't like oh it's my rookie season let's just like do something new you know like let's just shake it up um I just think like I was ready for it and I think those things you don't really plan it's just kind of like I, I was finished school you know you you finish here you're it's it's a way I think of like I think of uh soccer as kind of this bubble and you know you're going you're going you're going and you know you're in the same environment with everybody and all of that's really great and I love it uh but sometimes you need to take like a step back and like be able to focus on something else so that you can do your best within the bubble sure. and I read this book I wish I could tell you which book it was um but they did something some kind of study of like uh the more different that your hobbies are from your job 
um, it's like the better that you're going to perform at your job. And I was like, because I was always worried that like doing something else would deter from what I'm doing on the daily. And once I re- once I read that, I was like, wait, this could actually help me. And so I kind of just ran with it. And it's it's, I feel like overall, if you're a healthier human, you'll perform better at your job. So that's kind of like I was kind of once I was more okay with that idea, I was able to run with it a little bit more. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that a lot. I wish I remembered the book that I read, <laughs> but it's it's one of them. I don't know. It's somewhere in your library. It's somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so just one question for me. Uh, mm-hmm. What was your favorite movie? Your favorite memory? Sorry. Oh. Uh, during this, during your rookie year. That is such a hard, like in soccer. In general, in, in general. your time here in, in Utah, training, playing, or. I mean, okay, soccer wise, I think like. It's kind of hard. Like I feel like just like the momentum of everything. I was. I would say though, like even a few weeks ago when we were in LA, like, like I have so many memories. It's it's hard to pick one. Um, but I said, like, impact-wise, I had, like, we were, when we were playing in L.A., like, obviously I was just at school, um, in L.A., like, right, right next to the bank, USC's right there, so it's, like, we were playing, and we were playing quite well, and it was, uh, it wasn't even, the ball wasn't even on my side, it was just, I was watching us make, like, with this sequence going up the left side, and I was, like, and I had, like, a realize, I was, like, we're good, like, that was, like, that was super pretty, I loved that. You know, and um, just being in that environment and seeing, like, success and how far we've gone and, like, controlling that game and, like, the way that our back line was moving was, like, we were a unit and all of those things, like, were kind of coming together and it was kind of beautiful because it was in L.A. And having that realization in that stadium, like, with all of that, with all of, you know, my, te- my old teammates watching and my friends, it was, the whole thing was kind of, you know, very, like, kismet, very nice and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thanks.